What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. Today, I'm going to show you how my mom makes ginger beer. She's with me now and she's going to help me, assist me on telling you what to do to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, first we're going to start off with two pounds of ginger. You're going to take the uh, skin off the ginger and my mom, she put it in the food processor to cut it up. But you cut it up this way however you can, but it's easier in a food processor. And again, this is two pounds. And guys, it's going to be a little wet because of the ginger, so don't worry about that. That's the process, yeah. And while my water looks this way is my mom had a Ziploc bag with the ginger in it. And um, she just put some water in the bag to just rinse it out. So that's why it looks that way. So we're just going to get it in there like that. I'm going to give it a stir. Is that good? Then we're going to cover it. And we're going to boil it for 10 minutes. And by the way, our ginger was thawed out. But whether it's frozen or not, you need to boil it for 10 minutes. And if you want to do it in your pressure cooker, I do it for five minutes. Five minutes would be good in your instant pot or electric pressure cooker, whatever you got. All right guys, 10 minutes is up for me. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. All right guys, this is optional and I left it out because some these two items that we're going to put in you may not have access to so the first one is pimento seeds and it looks like this basically this is what allspice comes from but you would crush it to get the allspice but this is pimento seeds and and you're just going to put them in just like this it's about 12 of them now not even i will have access to this but in jamaica we call this chew sticks it might be called bitters, I'm not sure, but we call it chew sticks, and you cut it up and put it in. It has a bitter taste, but this is, that's optional as well. Yeah. You steam it, yeah, you, we're going to put this in now while it's steaming. But these two things are optional. You don't have to use it. But you don't, have to it, to find them. you don't, yeah, don't kill yourself finding these. But if you want authentic, authentic ginger beer, Caribbean style, then break your neck to find these. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the pot right now while it's still steaming. that. Oh, stir it. Alright. Alright, so mom says we're going to cover this and we're going to cover it until it cools down. Now, how long does you, how long do you think that takes? Eight hours. Eight hours? Okay, so that's basically overnight. No, but it is, what is it now, 2.30, 2.35? So yeah, we'll just, we'll let this go until the morning anyway, but you'll, you want to let this cool for about eight hours covered. You don't, you could just leave it right here and let it just sit there for about eight hours until it cools, and then we'll add the rest of it. We're going to strain it next, right? So when it cools, we're going to strain it, get all that stuff out of there, and then we're going to add the rest of the stuff. Okay guys, so about 14 hours have passed. This is what it looks like. So like I said, I would recommend overnight, um, minimum 8 hours. You can go as far as 48 hours if you wanted to. But I'd say at least 8, eight, to, eight to 12 hours is fine. So we're going to strain it and put the rest of the stuff in and we're good to go. My mom's getting the rest of the stuff now. Alright mom. Explain the setup here. What's this? And this is a strainer. It's just to strain it off. Mm -hmm. Strainer, okay. 
And we got lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And we have sugar. And that's where it's going to. That's where you're going to sweeten it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, your choice. You can do um, half a dozen of lemons or like 10 limes. Mm -hmm. And squeeze it in there. We don't have that many lemons or limes. So we are going to use lemon juice. So I want to let you know your options. Alright guys, before we do anything, we're going to stir it. Because a lot of a lot of it settles on the bottom, so we want to break that up. It gives a nice stir. It should smell real nice right now. I can smell the ginger and everything. The pimento seed, yep. Smells nice. And again, if you don't have that twig or pimento seed, believe me, it's still going to be good. So don't feel... But you guys should be able to get pimento seed in your local supermarket, no matter where you live. They're there, trust me. I don't know what this is, but mom says if you don't have that little twig things you can put in, what is it called? Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters, whatever that is. But you don't, no. that's too dry, but you don't necessarily have to have that. That's just for extra, right. extra, yeah. extra punch. But it's not, it's not necessary, but if you can get that, either one is fine. So now we're gonna strain it out. I'm going to pour it right in there, so I can get it. Hold on there. There we go. Do you do anything extra with all of this? Okay. So we're going to squeeze it, make sure everything comes out. And then after that, we just discard this. I know some of you may save it for something, but <laughs> we discard it. You could use this for flavoring for stuff, right? No? Yeah, like a mild. Let's press it down. All right. All right. Working good, working good. So now we're, we're going to put some lemon juice in there. One cup? All right. Mom said it could possibly be one and a half, but this is one cup so far of lemon juice. So we'll see. So we're going to taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, you're just going to sure put the sugar? Oh, okay, okay. So the sugar's next. So mom says two pounds of sugar. <laughs> and so we have a four pound bag. So half of, half of a four pound bag of sugar. Ah, you just know. You heard that? She knew. <laughs> Now's the fun part, guys. We stir and taste. Stir and taste. So right now, you tell somebody to go ahead and get the glasses with the ice ready. So we're, we're, at, we're at the finish line, y'all. All right, give it a taste. You taste it first. You got it? Oh yeah. That's good. We're gonna have mom taste it just to verify. Cause she knows exactly how it's supposed to taste at this point. But it is fine to me. Mom says it's good, but remember this is to taste. So if you want it sweeter, by all means, add some more sugar. If you want some more lemon, by all means, add some more lemon. But you use this as a guide, as a standard. And if, you know, maybe you want less or more, you can tweak it yourself. But one thing's for sure, make sure you have it with ice until it's refrigerated for several hours. Or you should have it on ice anyway, regardless. But for right now, absolutely. This bottle is coming home with me. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to have a taste. You first. You got it? All right. Ah, 
Now that's perfect. So guys, this is a great, great summer drink, but you know, this is Thanksgiving weekend, so for me, it's all year round. So if you, if you like ginger, definitely give this a try, for sure. So I'll leave everything in the description so you can check it out, even the substitutions and whatever. But this was awesome, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have an Instagram, look me up at Instagram, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. Cooking with Doug.